Hi everyone and welcome to the Mathsman YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to be showing you how to play a game called Score24. It's a fantastic game that you can play at home or in the classroom which helps to develop your mental math skills and practice using uh, parentheses or brackets um, and the order of operations, so bodmass, pedmass, whichever one of those you'd like to call it. This is a game which is aimed at students who are between the ages of nine, I would say, all the way up until the age of 16. Um, and in fact, in this video, I'm going to show you three different levels that you can play this game, which you can tailor to the students that you teach. Or maybe you're a student who is looking for a fun way to revise for a big exam or just to play fun maths games at home. So to play score 24, you're going to need a pen and a piece of paper to write the score down. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play with just two players, but this is actually a game for an unlimited amount of players. So you can play with 10 players if you really want to. You're going to need one of these two things. You're going to either need 10 sided dice, which I know a lot of people might not have at home. Or you're going to need a pack of cards with all of the picture cards taken out. Now, this is the way that I am going to be playing in this video today. You're also going to need um, some maths operation cards. So I've got a plus sign, I've got an equal sign, a takeaway, a multiplication and a division sign. If you don't have these cards, then just write them on a piece of scrap paper and it works just as well. So the aim of score 24 is to try and get as close to the number 24 as you can. Now player one will start and they will start by turning over four cards. So I've turned over an eight, a five, a one and a seven. Now using those four cards, I have to try and make a number that is as close to 24 as I can. The closer I get to 24, the least amount of points I lose. Now, because I'm playing this at level one currently, I am allowed to use um, as many of these operations as I would like. So I could simply do eight, add five, add one, add seven. If I chose to do that, I would get a score of 21. And of course, that isn't exactly 24. So to determine my score for the round, I would have to do 24, take away 21, because that's how close I got. And that would give me a score of three. And that would give me three points on my score. But of course, if I was to use my mental math skills, I might decide to do. So by using my knowledge of bod mass and um, brackets i have been able to make exactly 24 here because i have one add seven and i've put those in brackets as you can see here so that gives me eight and then i've got eight take away five in another set of brackets which gives me three and then i've got a multiplication sign in the middle so it's eight multiplied by three, and that gives me a score of exactly 24. Now, if I would have played this as my score, then I would have received a score of zero because I made exactly 24. Now, the loser of the game is the person who ends up with the most amount of points after five rounds of playing. And the winner of the game is the person who ends up with the lowest score after five rounds of play. So for level two, the rules are basically the same. OK, the four cards are drawn at the beginning. So a nine, a two 
a three and an ace. But this time, the difference is only one operation can be used. So I can't have add, 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 or I can't have multiply twice. Okay, I'm only allowed to use each operation a maximum of once. So I would not be able to go nine, add two, add three, add one, like I did at level one. It makes me think a little more. This example, player two, has come up with nine multiplied by three. That is outside of brackets. And then we have take away two divided by one, which are inside brackets. So that would be two divided by one first, because they're in the brackets. Two divided by one is two. Nine times three is 27. And it would be 27 take away two equals 25. So they are one number away from 24. So they would receive a score of one point. So we're back to player one's turn. And for the purpose of this video, the next turn that player one is going to take is going to be at level three. So level three, you can set a timer of just one minute to find an answer, um, which really puts the player under pressure. Now for level three, the difference is the player will draw five cards in total instead of four cards. And this time they must use every single operation. So involved in their sum of some kind, they have to have an addition, a subtraction, a division, and a multiplication. So as you can see in this final example, player two has come up with a, a sum that makes exactly 24. So we have seven add one in brackets using the plus sign. Then we have multiplied by nine divided by five take away two inside brackets. And if we just work out the brackets first, seven plus one makes eight. Then we've got five take away two, that gives us three. Then that leaves us with eight multiplied by nine and then divided by three. And Bodmas teaches us that we have to do the division first. So we do nine divided by three, which is three. And that leaves us with eight multiplied by three. And that makes exactly 24. So the player two would receive zero points for this round. And the player one is still winning because they have the lowest score. And you would repeat this five times. And the person with the lowest score is the winner. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and the game score 24. If you have decided to go ahead and play it, then please let me know in the comment section whether you decided to play it in the classroom or back at home with your friends. Um, and if you would like to see more maths games and maths ideas for the classroom, then please consider subscribing to the Mathsman YouTube channel. And I will see you next time.